Hi everyone, welcome to Veronica Hug. So today I wanted to show you how you can make this wonderful pattern. I think it's really nice for baby blankets, but you can of course use it for many different things. And yeah, you can see here that we have two different colors. So for this project, I use the Wooly Hugs Charity. So it's 100 meters per ball of yarn and 50 grams in weight. And yeah. Um, I used my crocheting hook, um, 4 millimeter one, and yeah, what you want to make sure is that you don't work too tightly, so let's see, um, so for 10 centimeters I have, um, let's see, 18 stitches. And in the height, I don't have full 10 centimeters yet. I have 10 um, rows that are 8 centimeters tall. So yeah, just make sure that you're not working too tightly so that the pattern looks nice and even. And if you tend to work tightly, then just make sure to take a little bit bigger hook. That way you'll prevent weird things from happening. So yeah, as far as the stitches here go, they need to be um, a multiple of four plus one more stitch extra so that um, everything works out well. So I have here 25 stitches, which is 24, four times six plus the one additional one. And yeah, you can see here that we have some deeper stitches and and if you want to have two extra stitches on the left and right, just to make sure it's neat, you can of course do that. In that case, do 27. So after you start with these chains here, you would do one more for the height. Let me zoom in. And then every chain from the 25 that we have would get one treble. And that's what I'm gonna do here. So the treble is going to go into just the front section of each stitch instead of both. Just like this. And we're just doing trebles in this row. So this is how we get these sections that you can see right here and here. Yeah. You can also use this trick for other projects. Just try it out and see what you can get. I think it's really lovely. So then I'm going to go into both of these stitches in and I'm going to take the yellow thread with me. There we go. And that way we're going to be able to continue with the yellow in or for the new row. So that way you also get a really nice edge on here with both colors present. So we're going to do a chain for the height, then we're going to do a half treble, 
and now comes one of the deeper um, stitches let's just do this one first there we go and then here is the treble that you see on the bottom so now we're doing the yellow one which means we're doing a yarn over and now we're gonna go two rows below we're gonna go into the front section of the stitch and we're gonna do a treble so through two and through two again And now I'm going to go into the back section here and I'm going to do half trebles. That's how we get this section right here that looks really good combined with the deeper stitch. And that's actually when um, you look at the yellow section below, that's how we're going to get this area right here in between the two deeper stitches in white. And if you're just starting with the pattern, you can of course count. So let's see, we have here um, one, two, three, and into the fourth stitch we go in deeper and we then do, again, three half trebles. And then another deeper one. So through these deeper stitches that are in the front, we kind of get a 3D effect on here, or a little bit more texture than usual. And again, three, and then the deeper one. And that's how we keep going till we get to the end of this row. And the last one we always do through both sections of, of the stitch, um, just to make sure that it looks neat at the end. And that way we are done with this row. So now what we're going to do is again a chain for the height and we're going to start our new row. There we go and then we can go in through both sections, so through the entire stitch for the first one and then we continue with just the front section and we'll keep doing half travels here. And the great thing is you already know how to do all of the stitches that you're going to need for this pattern. And all that you need to do is keep switching between these two rows um, and the colors and that's how you get this wonderful striped 3D effect.
and just remember at the end always make sure you go through both sections of the stitch that way we ensure a nice and neat edge and in this case I'm also gonna pull through my white um, my white thread I'm gonna finish off the stitch in yellow and then continue with the chain for the height in the new row and then you can see here what the color change looks like from this angle so now we're again going to do the entire first stitch so through both sections and then we're going to do two half trebles in the back section just like that one more so that was um, three total and then one goes deeper and that's a treble. And then we keep repeating three half trebles in the back section of the existing stitch and one deeper treble and you keep going like that. Just like that. So in the beginning it might be a little bit tricky or um, just different but after a couple of rows you'll get the hang of it and you'll get really fast at it as well. So the reason we're going in from the front or just the front section of the stitches is that it's going to be very difficult to get the treble, the deeper treble like this, out unless you do them just with the front section. And yeah, I just need to finish this row and then I'll show you how to end it. two and three then a deeper and the last stitch we do through both sections and close off and this is how you get the pattern and you can then keep working on the same steps that I showed you in this video until you're satisfied with your size. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to shoot a thumbs up to let me know. If you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe and don't forget the notification bell. See you next time. Bye!